Now, I told y'all this case with the Young Dolph situation is going to get more brazy before it get good. I warned y'all this thing is an upkeep and a turn up to a lot of things that's been going down and that's been 3,800,000 times greater than a proportional rate and what they speak into the nonsense and drill tip with. Now, y'all probably like, what is Bless one speaking about? Well, no other than what you know as the famous white bench found. I've done multiple videos about it, but there is a star key witness in this case, multiple key witness i'll be doing two separate videos on witnesses but the main witness we know that's going to be used is the white ben's original owner now these owners were educational purpose basically almost kidnapped and, and, and guns being used on them they went to an aggressive ordeal and they're going to give their keep you know what memphis police department are going to do already y'all the way court is used y'all when you have vital witnesses you have to use what you have to settle the case don't worry y'all we'll get to the video so you guys can see what i'm talking about and breaking it down we're gonna use the actual werg news to break it down because we keep receipts over here from when this case actually happened i don't throw away nothing this is how you investigate things and be a proper journalist you know what i mean now i'm looking at this situation and what i've seen in it was that this woman has broken the case to a certain way that they want us to believe now if she can identify who robbed that vehicle because we do know the justice department and, and the people involved are saying that they've broken the case based on dna camera footage and everything so this ain't no alleged somebody gave the drop even though we do believe there's an educational purpose snitching going on like let's that that's that's a given that's not even something to even you know let me guess the mate but without further ado Let's go to those videos so I can make you listen to the star key witness in this case. Because if you don't know, let's break it down a little bit more. The white bins was found, y'all, basically at the house in a situation where a murder was done a day before that. Now, before that murder was done a day before that white bins was found, what they didn't want to talk about was the murder that was done basically november 12th two weeks before that in another situation in covington now that one was brazy it got out of hand and it was a lot of twists and turns involving in that case now one of the involvement in that case was your typical regular bs of cover up now we didn't know if it came from the cops or what but a lot of things was going on even in the neighborhood when it came down to hiding the involvement now i'm gonna play the video of the star witness allegedly i have to say alleged witness but i know she's gonna get subpoenaed based on what she said in this interview that happened you know what's gonna come with it and it's just gonna be is what it is y'all now let's go to it right quick hit that like button hit that notification Notification bell and rock out with I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Salute. May be related to the shooting of Young Dolph. Covington Police Chief Andy Lindsay just confirmed that his department believes this white Mercedes involved in Young Dolph's shooting may also be involved in a shooting on South College Street and West Church Avenue. Chief Barnett, Lindsay also the man confirmed you about now one here. of the is from Memphis, but he's accused of helping Justin Johnson evade arrest in another state. I know some of y'all probably seen this video before, but listen to the video. I'm not just playing the video because we played it already. I play certain parts so you can know which key parts to pay attention to. Now, I'm going to play the whole thing. I want you to listen to what the witness had to say. Sounds like she know who robbed the white bins 100% because she was there. And she sounds confident in solving this case for these fucking political interests or even the DA themselves. Listen now. He's now facing charges of being an accessory after the fact. All right, on top of that, Justin Johnson and Cornelia Smith are charged with first degree murder and a list of other crimes. U.S. Marshals teamed up with Memphis Police and the District Attorney's Office for an update today. Yeah, we brought you that news conference live this afternoon. Authorities shared details of their investigation and what led them to Justin Johnson as well as how Cornelia Smith had been in custody tied to the carjacking of a white Mercedes. And it is that same Mercedes officers say was used as the getaway car in Young Dolph's murder. We now know that car was stolen from a woman at a gas station in East Memphis. Yeah, police say they discovered Smith's fingerprint. 
Now, pay attention to this key witness that's going to be used. Y'all need to pay attention. Quit capping and, and trying to dance around it like this ain't what's about to go down. Now, I got a second witness in the case, too, but this is the witness of the white bins. Now, now we got a separate witness who allegedly claims she's seen the shooting and people dismiss what she had to say on YouTube. She's also the one who kind of went missing and folks didn't know what happened to her. But let's get back to this part. Murder. We now now know that car was stolen from a woman at a gas station in East Memphis. Yeah, police say they discovered Smith's fingerprints on the car. WREG's Shay Arthur tracked down the owner of that white Mercedes and has her reaction to the unfolding of this case tonight. Shay. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Greg. Yeah, as you can imagine, she said the last few months have been pretty tough. It was actually that car owner's relative that was driving the car at the time of the crime. She was actually on the phone with her when it happened. Take a listen to this. As investigators searched for young Dolph's killers, they looked for this white Mercedes. We've now learned it was stolen from a woman at this gas station off Kirby Road a week before the murder. The 22 year old driver at the time who made the quick stop just after 730 at night had borrowed the car from a relative. We talked to that relative today for safety concerns. She asked us not to identify her and I'm just so glad that she wasn't killed because these guys are killers. The victim told police two men armed with assault rifles came up and demanded the car. Now, listen to her story. Pay attention. Even when she told y'all, now these guys are killers, it's, it was like an intimate way of I know them personally. Not personally, personally, but from her robbery experience with the alleged killers who stole the white bins. Like, she's basically letting people know if she could identify them she won't forget they face bro like, i want to know how they did it bro now let's listen to it from her the victim told police two men armed with assault rifles came up and demanded the car one of them hit her in the face with the barrel of the gun the young woman called her relative as this happened she didn't immediately give up the car when, when she called you when this is happening what is going through your if you are a woman and you're even if you're a man too if you're getting robbed for your vehicle your life is more important than a vehicle i didn't like hearing that part she didn't want to give up give it up without a fight that's stupid i mean you can always get another vehicle but you can't always get another life facts your mind i was i really thought they were gonna kill her i mean that, that's all i was thinking i'm gonna hear you know her die right here on the phone She's going off and, you know, she's, she was standing up for herself and um, even at one point, you know, kept them from, from possibly putting her in the car with them. Eventually, the men got the car keys and drove off. A week later, a picture of the car is broadcast out, believed to be the getaway car in Young Dolph's murder. Then, days later, officers discovered it behind an abandoned home in Orange Mount. The victim's relative tells us the young woman still has anxiety from the incident. A little trauma resurfaced just from all of it coming back up. It was it was really hard on her. She says while she only had the Mercedes, her dream car for a few months, property can be replaced. She now thinks of Young Dolph's family as they deal with their loss. My heart goes out to the people that were, you know, hurt by this group of people that are not okay. And reminds everyone tonight to always stay alert wherever they go. Man, you stay alert, you stay alive. I truly believe in that, man, with this case getting way worse than what it should have been, man. Look, man, I'm your guy, DJ Bless One. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Love your family, love your kids, and always remember, y'all, stay Bless out here.